Hello everyone, this is Dr. Mihir Shah once again with another video. In this video, we are going to learn how to calculate beta and covariance under the subject risk and return analysis under the subject investment and portfolio management. Again, a very must video for all the TYBMS students for semester 5. So let us see how to calculate beta and covariance. Okay now, let us see how to calculate beta and covariance under the chapter risk and return analysis. Now before solving, let us see the formulas of calculating beta and covariance. Now beta ka formula is covariance upon standard deviation square m where covariance rs into rm that rs stands for return on security rm stands for return on market portfolio now always remember whenever you're calculating beta and covariance you are going to compare uh, the security return with the market return covariance ka formula is sigma rs minus r bar s into rm minus r bar m upon n minus 1 and standard deviation square m ka formula is summation of rm into rm bar the whole square upon n minus 1 now looking at the formula it looks a little complicated but uh, while actually solving it it is very simple okay so let us see now how to solve the sum number one from the following data calculate beta and covariance they are given you the number of years and they are giving you return on security we will consider this as rs and return on market portfolio which will be known as your rm now based on this let us see how to solve the sum so a uh, table will be in such a way that we'll have years we have return of security return on market security or market portfolio then according to whatever we require for covariance i need rs minus r bar s rm minus r bar m and then the submission is yeah, the multiplication of both so the three column will be based on covariance and for getting standard deviation square m that is rm minus r bar m the whole square okay that will be our last column now let us see how we fill up the values so years may will note down we have five years one two three four and five now under return on security we will write 35 38 34 40 and 43 now once you all have written of you know the values of return on security see that you all add it up because i need r bar r bar is nothing but the average so 35 plus 38 plus 34 plus 40 plus 43 the total will come up to 190 similarly we'll even note down the market return or the market portfolio return 22 26 24 28 and 30 once we note down all the values total it up the total will come approximately 130 now once we have noted the total of return of security and market the next step will be we need to find r bar s that is the average of return of security that will be nothing but submission of rs upon number of years which comes to 190 upon 5 which comes to 38 similarly we also need to find r bar m that is nothing but the average of rm ka total upon n that is nothing but 130 divided by 5 which will come to 26 okay that's the very first step that needs to be noted now once we have got the values of the averages of return of security in market we can go to the next column our next column is rs that is return of security so each return we have to subtract that by the average return so 35 minus 38 will be negative 3 38 minus 38 is 0 34 minus 38 is negative 4 negative then we have 40 minus 38 that is 2 and 33 minus 38 that uh, 43 minus 38 that is 5 similarly for market 22 minus 26 that's negative 4 26 26 is 0 24 26 is negative 2 then we have positive 2 and lastly we have positive 4 the next step is we need to find the product of 
the you know first second fourth and fifth column so that will become 3 in, negative 3 into negative 4 is 12 0 positive 8 2 2 is a 4 and 5 4 is a 20 once you get the second last column got values see that I'll total it up so 12 plus 8 20 plus 4 24 plus 20 is 44 and now the last column that is nothing but rm minus rm bar the whole square so the square of the fifth column so negative focus square is 16 0 is 0 negative 2 is 4 positive 2 is also 4 and 4 4 is a 16 once you get all the values see that you will total it up so 16 plus 4 20 and another 20 so our total will come to 40 with this our entire table has been completely done now we just have to apply into the formula now in order to get beta first i need to find the covariance because the numerator stands for covariance so first we will find the covariance so covariance ka formula we will first note down covariance is nothing but rs into rm the formula for which is submission of rs minus r bar s into rm minus r bar m upon n minus 1 now rs minus r bar s into rm minus r bar m the total is 44 upon n that is 5 minus 1 so that was nothing but 44 divided by 4 so our covariance is nothing but 11 okay so that's the first thing that we have already first thing that we have found now second we need to find the standard deviation square m that's the denominator part for getting the value of beta so that will be sigma rm minus r bar m the whole square upon n minus 1 now rm minus r bar m the whole square ka submission is nothing but 40 the total and bottom again it will be 5 minus 1 so it will be 40 divided by 4 which comes to 10 okay so we got the numerator value we have got the denominator value now we can use the final formula beta is equal to the covariance covariance when you're finding a covariance between market and the security upon standard deviation square m so that is nothing but 11 divided by 10 so we have 11 we have 10 when you divide it we get the answer of beta that is 1.1 so this is how you all had to solve the sum under the chapter risk and return analysis again a very important topic for all the tybm student okay the formula for beta and covariance and standard deviation square m is given you just have to apply into the table make the proper the table and just apply the values and get your final answer okay i hope everyone has understood this with that we will be ending this video thank you